<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Lala from TheRainQueen.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can grow your own pineapples from a store-bought one. Do you love pineapples? I do. They make the best drinks, awesome desserts and they look so beautiful in the garden once you get them planted. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Growing your own pineapple from a store-bought one is very, very easy. You simply cut off the top and you put it in a container of water like this for a couple of weeks. Now when you cut the top off, make sure that you clean the part with the fruit off very, very carefully without damaging the stump. You don't want any of that um, yellow orange pineapple flesh left on here otherwise it's going to rot in the water and you won't get any roots like this. What you need to do after you've cut everything off you place it in the water and change this water maybe every two days as soon as the water becomes cloudy just put in new water and make sure that it stays fresh because you need oxygen in that water for the new roots to form and after a couple of weeks you should have excellent healthy roots and a pineapple top that is ready to go in the ground. I hope you can see the roots over here. There's quite a few of them. So I think this plant should actually do really well in the soil. Now before I put this in the soil, I'm going to cut off these leaves over here. Again, we want to avoid rot, so I'm just going to trim them nicely because they're already quite soggy and I don't want this going into the soil and contaminating the root area over here. So now we have our cleaned pineapple, all the extra leaves have been taken out, the roots are nicely exposed and we are now going to plant it in a planting hole that I prepared earlier. I've added some of our own homemade compost as well as well rotted chicken manure from our backyard chickens. The other thing that I'm going to add to help this pineapple to get a good start is a very small amount of superphosphate. Superphosphate is something that you put with new plants to help them establish their roots. So I'm hoping that this will assist the pineapple to get a good start, but remember not to put in too much, otherwise you run the risk of burning the roots. And of course, as soon as we've planted this, we're going to water the hole very well because these roots have been used to being in water all the time. So you don't want it to dry out the first couple of weeks that it's in the ground. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. 
pineapples are from the bromeliad plant family, which includes ornamentals, like this one that I have currently flowering in my garden. Speaking of flowering, you need to be aware that once your pineapple has made a fruit in two years time, the plant will start to die. But fortunately, it's going to make small plantlets on the side, which you can chop off and replant the same way that I showed you in the video. So you'll be able to have more pineapple plants after your first one has made fruit. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will be planting your own pineapples instead of throwing the tops away or putting them in the compost heap. Please like, comment and subscribe for more.